Hello everyone and welcome to a very epic unboxing video. Are you all ready for this? I think you're not, but let's do it anyway. <laughs> Alright, so we actually have a freaking box. I'm, I'm literally going to do an un unboxing today. So, uh, all we have in here came from La Niche Moi, and all that came from here came from Aquazoo. So we are going to start with Aquazoo. By the way, everything is going to go in the uh, Cichlid Aquarium, but the reason is because I'm treating this aquarium as a quarantine tank because uh, I did have ick not so long ago and it kind of have restarted so I bought a lot of medication today and I'm just going to medicate this aquarium altogether to remove any trace of ick and kill all potential illness. Alright, so here we have the first two uh, items. So we have a feather catfish right here. Um, very, very bad coloration right now and this is because he's in a Tupperware. Uh, I didn't place him in a Tupperware, but he was piercing all the bags. Uh, so yeah, he's going to stay in the 44 gallon. That fish gets really big. Uh, and then, everyone is going to be surprised with this, but I got actual feeder fish. But my intention is not to feed these fish to any of my animals. I, I don't think the cichlids can actually like eat them. I think this, these are too big to be eaten. And what I want to do with these feeder fish is actually uh, once I cure them of any sort of bacteria they might have, one of them have a missing tail, poor little guy, probably going to be eaten to be fair. Uh, but yeah, I want to place them in the uh, 26 gallon aquarium so they can have a better life. But first I want to quarantine them uh, before they infest my other aquarium with some disease. So I'm going to eliminate all the weeks, the weak ones and the survivors are going to have a nice happy life. All right, now let's move on to the actual, actual like nice fish I bought today uh, from the nicer um, pet store. So I think everyone is going to be very excited with what I got. At least I hope. Uh, and so I only have six fish in here, uh, but you're going to understand pretty soon why I had to uh, have like a big box like that. So we have like two bags, as well as obviously all the medication I mentioned. So they put some, um, you know, some papers to pack them all pretty good. I'm, I'm not going to show the big one yet. I'm going to show the small one first. All right, so here we have five rosy barbs. I always wanted rosy barbs. Uh, they're going to look amazing in the 26 gallon. Um, they are not really aggressive from what I've understood. So they're not like tiger barbs. Um, and yeah, I have a nice little school of five. And I think they're going to put a lot of colors and activity in the middle of my 26 gallon. So we have, I think, only one male and four females. And that's an excellent ratio. So the male is going to be like more reddish and have like more colors compared to these guy, uh, girls who's going to have like more yellowish colors. But yeah, pretty nice little fish. And now let's look at the mastodon. All right, are you all ready for this? I bought myself a Raphael catfish. He's freaking huge. Um, okay, we can kind of, oh my god, look at this size comparison. He's massive. Like, that's a, that's a big chunk of He cost me 10 bucks. Let's just try to measure him. He's like, oh, he's like 8 inch. Look at this. He's bigger than my hand. Like, wow. Uh, I'm going to call him Leonardo because, you know, the Ninja Turtle and the um, artist. Uh, but, yo, look look at him. 
he's massive he's huge he's going to stay in the 44 gallon um and yeah he cost me 10 bucks so just like a price comparison a better fish is like eight dollars and this massive creature is 10 like what the hell like even like nicer bettas are like more expensive than this beast look at how beautiful he is Boop. all right so before i am going to release all the fish in here um especially the feeder fish i'm going to feed the aquarium uh, with bug, bug bite because i didn't fed uh, it in the last day or so um so i just want them to eat a little bit and then um i hope they are not going to attack all the new fish so here we go i'm placing a bit of food right here just a bit just to distract them a bit from uh all the new arrival in the aquarium um so yeah as you can see everyone is eating properly all right so apart from the fish uh as i mentioned i got some medication so i got the nox ick uh which will remove ick as the name kind of state and then i also got um these new brand of medication i've never seen them before and um i'm going to try it so this is for parasit uh par parasitic disease yeah um and this is for uh bacterial disease so i'm going to put a bit of that like the two of these uh in my 26 gallon just because i have no idea what the new fish are carrying uh carrying with them and i don't want them to like murder everyone else by uh cross contamination so yeah i'm going to just pr do a preventive strike on the entire aquarium and hope for the best in the next few weeks yep all right so i really couldn't acclimate the um feather cat just be All right, so I couldn't really acclimate the feather cat just because, you know, he was in a Tupperware. And uh, I hope he's going to be fine, you know. Uh, I'm letting him gently go in the aquarium. Look at how beautiful he is. Um, that's good, no one is attacking him. I'm going to release the feeder fish right next, uh, just so the feeder fish can kind of distract everyone uh, once I introduce all the other fish um, so yeah he's going to have a lot of little hiding spot uh, yes the cichlids are controlling some of the caves so for example these two caves are really like occupied by the um, all the cichlids but there is a lot of nice other spot for example this big branch and like these uh skull skulls and like this hideout there as well as all the nice plants up there uh that can serve as um like you know hideout and obviously the sponge filter uh the sponge filter always attracts some hiding fish and like the weakest and less dominant fish so yeah All right, so this is the moment of the video I'm actually really afraid of. Um, all the minnows are good, all the feeder fish, yeah. But I'm not sure how the rest of the aquarium is going to react to them. And the reaction of all the cichlids is going to inform me if I want to put the barbs in this aquarium or not. Um, I'm not going to risk the safety of like my nice little rosy barbs uh but yeah it kind of sucks for them they are feeder fish um like i'm hoping for the best i'm hoping to save all of them uh but i'm pretty sure like the one missing a tail is going to get killed so let's just release them and see what happens okay now now this is a really nice shot like 
I love I love to see this right now, where everyone is so happy and just escaping uh, the net. Okay, so no one is really chasing. Uh, I'm going to feed the aquarium once more pretty soon. I'm really afraid of Memphis. Memphis is pretty much the one we have to be on the lookout. He's he have a big mouth. He can be very aggressive, and yeah, like if he see weakness, he's going to destroy weakness. I'm also worried of Clyde too. Clyde two is an aggressive bastard. Not as much as Clyde one because Clyde one was clearly like the boss of the aquarium. We also have the red tail catfish that we have to look like keep an eye on because they can be very aggressive. We have Jack Daniel, the Jack Dempsey, right there, just hiding. He's very aggressive. I'm not. I'm not afraid that pumpkin spice try to attack them because pumpkin spice just don't have a working mouth so I don't think he can like physically eat these fish like they are too quick oh we have like action action with the rainbows that's awesome but yeah all right so far so good so far all the nice little fish are doing well awesome well a a apart from the the one missing a tail but yeah oh god oh god okay um, yeah, the, the one missing a tail is probably going to be eaten, but the rest of them might survive. Awesome. Alright, so here are the rosy barbs. And this aquarium is really uh, going to be a test. I want to see what are their behaviors. Like, can I trust them with my other angelfish? Like, with Lucius. Uh, because, you know, the, these angelfish are really aggressive. Like, Grumpy right here... First of all, freaking growing up way too fast. You're amazing. You're you're crazy. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to have a clear indication of how these little barbs react in an aquarium. I'm not afraid that they get eaten. They are just like way too big for that. Uh, and also really quick, like way quicker than all my cichlids. So yeah, I don't. I don't think we're going to have any problem with the uh, barbs. They are they are not like preys, like the minnows are. Come on, little dude, girl. Yeah, there we go. All right. So, oh yeah, they are schooling with the minnows. That's awesome. And the uh, rainbow is kind of. So that is a good thing, I think. Uh, they are going to like feel mostly secure with one an another. Like big bigger species like to school with smaller species, and just feel a bit more secure. And yeah, uh, maybe the rainbows are going to school with them, I'm not sure. But yeah, the minnows and the uh, barbs seems to enjoy themselves. But yeah, now it is time for big boy, big Lebowski, the big, the bad, the, the ugly, Leo, the Raphael catfish. And it's going to be a heck of a deal for me, like a heck of an adventure to just remove him from his bag and just put him in this aquarium, but yeah. So far, so good. No one have been killed. Yay, that's good. That's that's a good, good unboxing right now. And yeah, again, all of these community fish are probably not going to live forever in here. I'm going to rehome re them. But who knows? If they get along with the cichlids, I'm going to keep them in there. And yeah. All right, and now... The big fat catfish. At least, at least he's not crazy. Like he's he's quite calm. So that is good. Um alright buddy. Look how massive and like pre prehistoric looking he is. Alright, come on. Wait. Uh let me help you. Like maybe Yeah, alright. Come on, just drop there. Here we go. Nice and easy. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that is a massive catfish. Like, crazy big. Um, I, I might, like, modificate a bit the aquarium just for him. Just so he can have, like, a nice big old cave. Um, like... Because he's, he's huge. Let's face it, he's humongous. Um, 
and he's the biggest fish I've ever owned, really. He's like 8 inch or something. So that's, that's crazy big. Um, like, it's, it's huge. <laughs> but, you know, it's not a crazy active fish, so, I mean, uh, I've seen many people keep them in an aquarium of the size that I keep, uh, without any problems. Oh, we have the other feather catch just chilling there. Cool. And we have pumpkin spice just be doing a cameo right here. Do you have place in this? Like, ooh, okay. Just slow walking outside of this cave. Uh, I might like remove it, uh, not remove that, but like place it in another direction just to make him some space. Uh, he's a catfish. He likes to hide, obviously. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> never had this problem before. Having like a fish so big, the hiding space isn't big enough. Holy cow! This is huge. Uh, I'm going to yeah. I'm going to um, kind of rework the aquarium so you have like a big portion that he can swim. Oh my God! Look at this beauty. Look how big this is. Look how massive this beast actually is like that's three inch fish compared to eight inch like look how pumpkin spice looks small compared to this pre priest prehistoric beast of a fish yeah i'm gonna i'm going to make him oh 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 oh, <laughs> oh boy you're, you're not going you're not good making friends my my little Filler. Uh, but yeah, one thing I like about oh yeah, pumpkin spice is probably pissed off right now. Oh yeah, pumpkin spice made it clear that's not near home. Oh, that's pumpkin spice for you. Oh, what the hell? Pumpkin spice got kicked out. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, pumpkin spice is going to be angry at that. Okay, I'm, I'm going to give him some. Uh, like nicer like hiding spot so you can chill uh rethink the, the aquarium completely oh my god i didn't realize how big it oh my god that thing is huge it's freaking humongous like holy cow yeah um what the hell was i thinking when i bought this creature it's amazing uh i'm going to like yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna work something out. Uh, see where he like to chill in the aquarium and place some hiding spot right there. Um, like I'm probably going to remove the skulls and just use real driftwood and create like a nice hiding spot right there so he can hide. Um, Cause yeah, right now all the fake caves are just too small for him. And I don't want him to piss off everyone in the aquarium, you know. Yeah, he, he seems to be a peaceful, nice little fellow. Little. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> look at how big this thing is. Wow. That is crazy. Jeez. Oh, yeah, yeah, and it's a slow-moving fish and not a fish that really needs a lot of, like, actual swimming space, so... I'm got uh, and it's not going to grow like bigger than this, so that's pretty good. Like you have space to turn and stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the biggest fish I'm ever getting, at least for now. Because you know, let's face it, like bigger than that, it would be animal cruelty, really. Wow, such a majestic creature! Like what the fuck? That is beautiful. So yeah, thank you, everyone. And may the Orenda power be with you always. See you next time.